What's up, you guys? This is Divine Messenger 33. Where I get messages from the Divine, I give them straight to you guys. So clearing out any energy that will not benefit this message. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, my ancestors, my spirit guides of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current energy for the collective. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. Welcome all my supporters. I appreciate you guys for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of the love, the support, the donations, the bookings, the emails. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support you show to me and the channel. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's going on with the collective. What's going on with the collective spirit? Let's see, y'all. Let's see what's up. What's going on, spirit? All right, so we got high priestess. So it's some heat and shit going on. Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, your intuition has been telling you something about some competition or about some conflict and shit. Okay. I feel like your intuition has been telling you something about some conflict. Yeah. So for some of you guys, if you've been, if your intuition been telling you something that is some high level people coming up against you, that's true. So if your intuition been telling you that, that's true. If you feel like it's some high level people coming up against you, that's true. If you feel like there are some religious people coming up against you, that's true. Okay, that's true. Okay, something to do with a Pisces, a Taurus. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Current energy. Four of Pentacles. Okay, also I'm hearing there's some kind of secret conversation about you that's going on. Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So there's a secret competition, I mean, a secret conversation going on about you with some high level people. Okay, is what I'm seeing. Yes, it's a lot of shit going on with a lot of money and stuff like that. Okay, but this could be held back from you at this time because it's some, it's some things still going on. Okay, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, Tower. Because I'm seeing that there's a lot of people that's trying to come in between a change that's meant to occur when it comes to you. So for some of you guys, you have a situation where you could be like in a company. You could work for a company and you could be about to like get an offer to get a pay raise or go up in a position. And it's a lot of people that's coming up against you when it comes to this because it's a lot of people that want this position. Okay, but it's being talked that you're going to get this, you know, you're going to get this position. Yeah. Three of Wands, it's being prepared for you right now. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and it's got a lot of motherfuckers scared. For some of you guys, you've been going through some kind of ongoing battle with motherfuckers. Okay, spiritually or physically. Like, you could have had, like, people just coming at you with all kind of, like, you know, like weird energy. Like wanting to like annoy you and shit. Yeah. Two of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Queen of Wands. So for a lot of you guys, whoever this competition is in your energy, I feel like this person is trying to create some self-doubt within you. So you guys can have somebody around you that's trying to create self-doubt. When it comes to your confidence, somebody don't want you to have confidence in something that you should have confidence in. So be very careful with like listening to advice is what I'm hearing. Because you could be listening to advice with a motherfucker that don't want you to go nowhere. Or don't want you to do nothing or achieve anything. And for some of y'all, you may look at this person as high up or something like that. But this person is in the background. They don't want you to get nowhere or get above them. So be very careful with this shit. For some of y'all, this could just be 
spiritually or actually physically at some kind of job that you are at right now. You are about to go up. You're about to get a big job offer. Regardless if you take it or not, it's about to be offered to you. Okay, it's up to you if you take it or not. All right, but I feel for some of you guys, you're going to have some self-doubt because this is something that's going to kind of like, for some of y'all, whatever that's about to be offered to you, it's like, you're not going to be able to play it safe in a situation. You're not going to be able to play it safe. It's going to be something you're going to have to do. And it's, it's I'm hearing it's going to like put you out there or it's going to make you like um, something about putting you out there or something. And it may make you a little bit like insecure or something like that. Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah. I feel like that a lot of you guys, you're going to be in your head <laughs> to do this. But I'm seeing that you're going to go ahead on and go forward because you're going to get some clarity that you should. You're going to get some clarity that you should go forward with something. But whatever this is that you are about to receive, there's a lot of people that want this that you are about to receive. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Especially if you are in a position where you are definitely standing in your power or you're doing very great at your job. Like you doing your motherfucking thing. And it's like... When you get this position or when you get this offer, it's like it's going to put all these other motherfuckers in their head. Because I'm hearing like for some people, these you whatever competition that you have, of course, they feel like they're better than you. Of course, whatever, because that's how that goes. But it's like you so are, you are so authentic with your shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you so authentic with your shit that you can't lose. You know what I mean? And for a lot of y'all, you are going to overthink some kind of like offer. You're going to overthink it. Yeah, but this is definitely meant for you. This is definitely meant for you. For some of you guys, you're, I'm hearing your angels, ancestors are saying, don't play it safe. Because for some of y'all, it's, it's like fear of the unknown kind of energy. But it's like you're going to get something that a lot of other people is like fighting to get but you're gonna be a little bit you know hesitant because it's gonna be like man this is something where i gotta uh it may make you a little bit uncomfortable or something like that for some of y'all <laughs> but i mean i i'm seeing that you're gonna get that clarity to go after you meditate because you're gonna know that you need to go something about a virgo capricorn sagittarius taurus gemini Strong fire sign. Strong fire. And then we have Pisces. We got Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm seeing, you guys. Also, I'm seeing that there could be a fight that break out and somebody is just going to leave a house. Okay, I'm also hearing that. So this could be a situation where there's a secret that's about to be exposed. Okay, I'm hearing like if somebody passed away, there's a secret, of course, something about an insurance policy. It's going to be a lot of fighting because somebody's going to find out something about an insurance policy that's going to piss them off and it's going to cause a fight. Okay, something was changed on the insurance policy or something like that. And that's going to piss somebody off because it's going to be unexpected for someone. This could be about somebody that died in surgery. Something with surgery. Somebody could have died while they were having surgery. Okay, or something like that. And it's like, it's a lot of commotion or it's going to be a lot of commotion with the situation. Because somebody's going to find out something hidden when it comes to a um, an insurance policy is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see. Any other messages? I feel like for some of y'all, somebody could be very worried about their um, investments or what they invested in. Okay. Somebody could be trying to like really attain like a home. Okay. Somebody could feel like that somebody could help them with a home somebody could be even homeless and they could need somewhere to 
crash or something like that and this person could be really in their head or even embarrassed to even like put this kind of energy out that they need something like this somebody could be really really embarrassed when it comes to what they're going through with their financial security okay all right because somebody could be really looking at being homeless all right i'm really seeing that yeah somebody i'm also hearing somebody could be fearing the unknown because there could be a lot of like conflict going on and somebody could be like pulled back by a lot of conflict in a situation so somebody could doubt something because there's a lot of conflict in the situation but you have to overcome the conflict so there could be a fire sign or someone to have strong fire in their chart somebody is like fearing change or fearing something the only reason why you're fearing it is because there could be a lot of disagreements. There could be a lot of things going on. And you're like, eh, I don't know if I want to participate in that. But nah, don't, I mean, don't back down. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody could be like wanting to back down or some shit. Or somebody is forcing them to back down. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody is trying to force somebody to back down. Yep. Like trying to fuck with their confidence, wanting them to just give up on something. I'm seeing that. Somebody wants someone to give up on something here. This could be like a religious person. A religious person wants somebody to give up on something. And this is really going to put somebody in their head because it's like they're going to really look up to whoever this is that's going to tell them this. But I'm hearing that somebody don't need to listen to whoever this person is that's telling somebody not to do something because this is no this could be like somebody i don't know like somebody this is giving me an energy where if this is somebody that's trying to tell somebody not to do something that they heart want them to do whoever this person is religious person or whoever this is this person is really um This is a very uh, materialistic individual. So if this is like a pastor or something like that. This pastor could be very, very materialistic. And this person um, could be talking to somebody about giving something up. Don't do this no more or something. And somebody is in their head because they're like, wow, I look up to this person. It's, they're telling me to stop or something. But someone is going to get some mental clarity that they should keep going. Yep. Because somebody is going to look at something in a different light here. Yeah, somebody is going to... Somebody is going to look at something on a long-term kind of situation. Yep. And I'm hearing like someone is going to compare like situations. So I'm seeing somebody compare like their... Um, this could be different jobs. This could be different careers. Somebody is like trying to figure out which one they want to do or something like that and i'm seeing that there is somebody religious or something like that that's going to come in and try to like you know make somebody make a decision that they want them to make you know what i'm saying yeah but somebody needs to listen to their own shit their own self because that's what's going to give you the answer because Whoever this individual is, this person here in this reading, I don't feel like that this is a person you need to be listening to for advice. Okay? I'm just saying. Yeah, for some of y'all, it's a family member. Ten of Cups, this is a family member. This could be somebody like a family friend or something like that that could have been around a family for a while. All right? So only take the messages that resonate and lead the rest for somebody else. So we're going to get an ending. What's the ending spirit? King of Swords in the reverse. And Magician. All right, bottom of the deck, we got Five of Cups in the reverse. So for some of you guys, 
there is somebody in your energy that's really doing some fuck shit in your energy okay and your intuition is right with who you think it is yep and they nasty with this shit too whoever this person is they nasty with this shit yep this person done gave all kind of offers okay to get you out of here okay so whoever that you thinking about that could have caused something in your energy fucked up you right this person has made all kind of offers to get you fucked up something to do with a taurus a sagittarius a pisces a virgo a capricorn all right a scorpio yeah somebody listen <laughs> devil yeah somebody definitely was working overtime to get your ass out of here okay sure was and they was nasty with it definitely this king of swords in reverse this person was nasty with that shit five of cups in reverse this person don't give a fuck about what they doing okay so your intuition is right about this person that was trying to bring conflict to you or whoever this motherfucker is this cult leader or whoever this hoe is you write about it okay i heard anita i heard antoinette i heard rachel okay yeah that's what i'm hearing yeah for some of you guys Mm, mm, mm. there is somebody marriage that's upside down and they could be really talking big shit about you like real big shit about you because something is crumbling and somebody is blaming you for this because something is crumbling in their life okay so you that could be the person that could be like throwing shit at you because it's like this person is going through hell and hot water and it's like damn <laughs> <laughs> this person throwing all kind of shit at you it's like i guess they want to keep getting fucked up because it's like listen it's your life not mine you know what i'm saying that's what you got to say divine beings to motherfuckers like this so your intuition is right about this energy that you thought or that you was thinking about yeah for some of y'all this person do a lot of shit at midnight to you for some of y'all this person do a lot of shit at midnight to you i'm telling you yeah for some of y'all this person could have did some shit on you on a sunday at midnight okay so for some of y'all this person did some shit on you on a sunday at midnight yeah, for some of y'all, this is somebody's birthday in November. Or you could have a birthday in November. Or you're going to have some strong clarity about this in November. Okay? That's crazy. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, something to do with the CEO. I'm telling you. For some of y'all, you got somebody in your energy that's scared that you're going to take their spot. Wherever you work... It's like somebody is like scared you're going to take their spot. They scared as hell. Man. Current energy. This is crazy. Yep, so your intuition was right. About who was doing it. That's crazy. Something with middle class could be significant. Crazy. Always take the messages that resonate. Leader is. All right, energy. All right, something to do with a Sagittarius could be significant. Somebody could love wearing dresses. Nike. Something to do with some dark hair. No kids. Somebody could have long, straight hair. 80s. Short, straight hair. Something to do with a Virgo or 9 could be significant. 
the air sign of hater, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, pharmacist, or whatever. Something to do with a Gemini. Somebody can have a lip piercing, thick eyebrows, dancer, manager. Something to do with the Aries could be significant. Q, motorcycle and or a dirt bike. Lawyer. L, for some of y'all, if you was wondering if your manager was doing some shit on you, yeah, that manager doing some shit on you. Aquarius, I just heard that. Hood. I heard take quill or something like that. I don't know. That's what I heard. 30s. We have Virgo. Stripper. CEO. Face tattoos. Braids or locks. Something to do with a Pisces could be significant. We have a Leo. We have an I. Somebody can have an accent. Okay. All right. So we have 39, 38, 36, 32, 34, 93, 98, 96, 92, 94, 83, 89, 86, 82, 84. 29, 24, 23, 28, 26, 68, 63, 69, 62, 64. Okay. Somebody's birthday could be on the 24th, the 28th, the 23rd. Okay. Something to do with the 9th, the 3rd, the 8th, the 6th, the 2nd, or the 4th. All right, yeah, y'all, <laughs> lit. For some of y'all, if this got something to do with a position that you about to get, listen, it's about to be lit for you. Like, for real. <laughs> it's about to be motherfucking lit. You gonna be so motherfucking happy, yo. And whoever this motherfucker that was trying to do some fuck shit to you, they gonna be so mad that you still got something. Because for some of y'all, this is like somebody that's trying to keep you from getting something that you're going to get. And it's going to really put this person in a fucked up mental space. <laughs> that's what I heard. They're going to be fucked up mentally. Yeah, they're going to be fucked up mentally, y'all, for real. They're going to be fucked up. Give me a uh, kipper for this, spirit. Give me a kipper. Give me a kipper. A kipper for the collective. Give me one. Yeah, you already know what's going on. Yeah, you know this change is coming. Look at that. You got change right here. Look at that. Great fortune. Spirit be talking in these cards, y'all. I be telling y'all. You already know you about to get this great fortune. This change that's coming your way, baby. Yeah. Great fortune. Ha! <laughs> For some of y'all, it's going to shock the fuck out of you. Somebody may be shocked about a house that they may get from somebody. Somebody may be shocked about some house. Something to do with September 26th, September 28th. Okay. That's crazy. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So whoever this is that tried to stop it, you're going to have to laugh at these hoes. You're going to have to laugh at these hoes. That's what you're going to have to do. Because <laughs> you about to get something. These hoes are going to be mad at you. Ooh, they going to be mad. <laughs> How nice. All right, let's end it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, y'all. Excuse me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for the services that I provide. And with that, you guys, peace and love.